So now we are doing CPR. We just mentioned the last video, we're doing 30 compressions in two breaths. Now, that is traditional CPR, where we're doing 30 compressions in two breaths. Now let's say that I was in a, in a location where I didn't have any mouth barrier devices, or I didn't feel comfortable putting my mouth on another person to give those two breaths, right? For an adult or a teenager, I have the option to do compressions only CPR. What does that mean? Once I tap and shout, once I yell and told somebody specifically to call 911 get AD, now I'm gonna check the pulse and breathing. Once I realize there's no pulse, there's no breathing, I'm going to start non-traditional CPR, which is just straight compressions. Now, with non-traditional CPR, we do not stop at 30. We just keep going, right? So in that scenario, if you are with someone else or someone else is there with you, it's best to switch off every two minutes or really even sooner because you will get tired sooner. With non-traditional CPR, we're doing straight compressions. So we don't stop at 30 compressions, we just keep going. At that point, you can hum the song, Staying Alive. Hmm, 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 Staying Alive. Staying alive, right? At that point, you could definitely hum that song to yourself while you're compressing, right? And that's just to help you keep that, keep that steady cadence going, right? We want to still definitely um, have that compression rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute, or you can say compression per minute, same, same, right? But definitely you want to keep get that blood circulating, you want to keep that going. If I was there with you, you start getting tired, I'll jump in, take over. Of course, I start getting tired, you jump in, take over. We just keep doing that until the ambulance arrives. All right, compressions out.